Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, I had a few questions actually asking me what, what I thought was the best gallery plugin, and there's so many of them out there. One of my particular favorites is this one from Divi Supreme. Really easy to use, got a lot of great features. It's got a overlay and you can add titles. You can click on it, have it pop out into a light box. You can scroll through from the light box. And it's got this beautiful masonry gallery layout and it's really easy to use. So I'll take you on a little tour and show you around it. Let's enable the visual builder. Okay, at the top here I've just got a slider which is another one of the Supreme modules. The gallery's down below here. I'm just going to delete it and we'll start from scratch. Like I say, Divi Supreme is a premium plugin and it comes with about 40 or 50 new modules and four fantastic little extensions that enable you to do pop-ups and things like that. So once you've installed it, let's click to add a new module. We'll roll down. The light gray ones are all the ones that come with Divi. Plenty enough to build just about any site. These dark blue ones here, all the ones you get with Divi Supreme modules. And they've got a lot of image ones. There's a Supreme image. You can do all kinds of different image effects with that. Image accordion, we've done that recently. Image carousel, that's what I've got going up the top there. Image with hotspots, that's where you can hover on an image and get it to pop out with text hotspots and things like that. Image hover reveal, image text reveal. But the one I want today is this one right here, the Supreme Masonry Gallery right here. So I'm going to click on it. First thing it's going to do is prompt you to add some images. And yeah, let's go ahead and add all these little images I got here. For anybody that didn't know, I just selected the first one, held my shift key down, selected the last one, it selects them all in between there. And there we are, we've got them loaded up there. Let's actually just get rid of that carousel at the top because it's a little distracting. And we'll go back in here. Okay, here we've got all our images. As with most galleries and carousels, you can just drag things, left click and drag and drop it where you want it to reorder things. By default, it's gonna put it in a little masonry setting for us like this. We roll down to our settings. You can use an overlay. Overlays when we hover over a picture, it's gonna darken down or have a color overlay over the top if I switch that to on you'll see we've got an overlay and we can change the color and everything like that. You can show the image overlay title. If you do that, turn it off. And we've got no title there. And you can show the caption on or off. And you can show descriptions on hover as well if you want to. And what I'll do in a minute is I'll add some descriptions and titles to some images just to demonstrate that. So at the moment mine have got the default one. As you can see I've got a lot of these from pexsales.com. Great place for free stock photos. You can use a light box if you want to. If we turn this on. If we turn this on now when we hover over we've got that little hand icon. We can click on it and it's going to pop the image out into a light box with a darkened background. And we can roll between the images with our little navigation arrows there. You just click off of it to close it up like a normal light box. You can choose what size to display your light box images here. I'm going to leave mine on full size. Now we can use horizontal order. And that'll order them between horizontal and vertical. See we've got a few hanging down at the bottom there. If I turn this off now, it's going to order them slightly differently. We've only got the one at the bottom there sticking out. Obviously got an odd number right there. Zoom on hover means when we hover in, if I turn the actual overlay off, and we go down and turn in the zoom on hover on. When I hover over it, as you can see, it's gonna zoom into the picture. And you can have both. Let's go back up, we'll turn the overlay on go over to our design settings, go down to overlay, 
And if you don't see that, it's probably because you haven't got overlay switched on over here. Let's change it to a black overlay and take the opacity down a little bit. As you can see, we've got the zoom and the opacity and our titles going on there. Okay, that's pretty much it for the settings there. Obviously, you can link the whole gallery to somewhere if you want to put a, a link in there. And when they click anywhere on the gallery, it'll take people to wherever you want them to go. I'm not going to do that today. Always best practice if you're linking to your own site, keep it in the same window. If you're linking to somebody else's site, open it in a new tab. Don't particularly want a background color or an admin label. Let's move over to our design now. And we've got grid layout. Here you can choose a number of columns that you want to display. Obviously we've got three as the default there. Let's take it down to two. You've got a nice long gallery that way. Or obviously take it up to four or however many you, it's going to work best for your gallery. That works quite well as well. And down below, you've got a gap where you can change the gap in the columns there. Obviously, if you take it all the way down, they're going to have no gap at all. So they're bouncing size there. But I'm happy with mine to be the default. And common to most Divi modules, if you do something you don't like it, just select it, hit the delete button, and it will return to how it was before. Okay, that's the grid layout. If we move down to our overlay text, this is what we've got over in our images here. Let's add a little more interest to this one. What I'm going to do is save this. I'll save my page changes and we'll do a reload in a minute. I'm going to go down to my dashboard, to my gallery, or to my media. And that was the one on the top left. Let's give it a title and a caption. and a description. And we can just close that and go back and let's refresh our page here. Now if I hover over that image, there's the image title, the image caption and the description. Okay, let's go in. We've got our three things there. We'll go back in there, go back to where we were, which is on overlay text. And you can style the title, caption and description totally differently if you want to. For instance, we're on the title. Let's make that a bright green. As you can see, the title's bright green. Caption will leave that white. And let's do the description red, perhaps. We can go up, go over description. I'll leave the caption. Turn that red. And we got three different colors going on there. And of course, as with all Divi modules, They've got a crazy amount of fonts to choose from. If you just click on it, they really do have a huge amount, so you're never going to run out of them. To audition one, just roll over it, and it will give you an example of it. I'm happy to leave mine on the default there. And I'm going to turn that crazy color back to white. I don't mind the green too much. Great. So moving on down. We've got the actual grid items below. You can give them slightly rounded corners if you want to. By giving them a small pixel value. As you can see, they've got slightly rounded corners now there. As long as you've got this chain linked, it'll do all four corners at once. And you can do top, bottom, left, right separately if you want to. If you want to make them rounded, which I wouldn't recommend unless you've got square images, give it 50%. And you can actually make them round. Mine aren't square, that's why they're big, they're, they come out as oval. But if you've got square images and you use 50%, they'll actually come out as round. If that's your thing. But again, I'm going to leave mine on the default. I'm quite happy for that to be how it is. A little bit of box shadow, if you want to add a bit of box shadow to lift it off the page. Again, I think mine looks cleaner without. We've looked at the overlay and changing the color there. If we go into the light box, you can choose whether to show the image light box title and caption when it pops out. So let's pop this out. There's the image title and the image caption underneath right there. And obviously you can turn these on and off. Let's close that up. Sizing wise, 
happy with everything the way it is if you want to make this smaller obviously you can do so and align it wherever you want within your row but I'm happy for mine to take up the 100% of the available width there so we're pretty much done with this spacing border filters transform and animation they're all the standard Divi filters that you've got there over in advance CSS classes and custom CSS all the regular things there so that's pretty much it with our gallery but that's a good looking masonry gallery right there and like I say with the hover over options it's great so let's save it and take a look on the front end exit the visual builder and there's our little gallery with our image title caption light box that you can scroll through we got our captions and descriptions popping up on the light box there. So there you go guys. It's one of my favorites for sure. It's definitely a contender out there. If you've got a lot, a lot of images to display and you want a bit of info on them, that's the way to do it. And that's from the great Divi Supreme modules. If you want to learn more, check out my link below this video. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.